they were standing down at this city hall building. But they've split the departments off, now I have to go to another one. See this Dayton patented original wanted. Original original ideas. It's a lot of ideas out there. A lot of ideas I'm trying to spread, a lot of ideas other people in the community are trying to spread. And we need originals, we need Dayton to see how original we can be to get this foreclosure fiasco fixed. Stop out of state investors buying our town and ruining it. This sign out here. I like this sign. This is the home of creative thinkers, doers, and achievers, believers. You gotta believe in Dayton for Dayton to survive. Believe in Dayton. Dayton can survive. Think creatively. What's this one? Oh, yeah. Thank you. So, there's King Code, where I was the other week, complaining about my cell phone. City Hall. City Hall needs new ideas. They want new ideas from the people. People with the new ideas get together and tell the city about it. Let's all get together. Go down there with one big, huge plan to fix this town. Woo! Peace out. Oh, there's the chief to send it. It's a lot of money spent on this place. And you can't go unless you have a lot of money. <laughs> yep, I'm right at the back of this line of traffic, so my website will be right there at the back of the line. I want people to go there. I've got some of my ideas straight on my website, because my website goes straight to YouTube. How are you guys doing? Hey, you want to be part of my little video here? Were you in a war, sir? No, I'm, I'm a disabled vet, but I'm not, I got sugar diabetes. You have diabetes? I've heard about that a lot. Can you, do you have one of those problems with diabetes that made you swell up and stuff? No, the blood just stopped flowing from my knees down. Wow. It's like the circulation, it just like stopped like from here all the way down. Wow. So they just wanted to cut the foot off. And I said, no, if you're not going to go ahead and cut the whole leg off up here where it's dead at, then ain't no sense to cut it. So I'm like, you're not going to use me as a piece of meat out of the VA. Right. So like I said, all they want to do is cut the leg off. So the one guy, I buzzed that one doctor I had. And he going to tell me, when you can't buzz me, I said, I'll come out I said, let me tell you something. I don't work for you. You work for me. If I wasn't a veteran, you wouldn't have a job. That's so right. So now you're not going to tell me what you're going to do to me. I'm going to request what I'd like for you to do. Now, if you can't do it, then i get another doctor. And I told him, Donald, what's Donald Trump's two favorite words? You know Donald Trump? Oh, You're fired. That's it. <laughs> that's exactly what I told him. Are you fired? Like I, mean, I had to think done. about that for a minute. Yeah, I saw that show. What kind of show are you doing? What kind of show am I doing? Wait, what, what I'm doing, I'm trying to show the world that Dayton isn't bad, for one thing. That's my one thing. My next thing is I'm a real estate agent and a piece of civil rights activist, and it's really hard to sell Dayton if no one wants to come to Dayton because Dayton's got such bad rap with bad um, no jobs. Do you guys yeah. have a job? I, no, I retired. Oh, you're retired. retired. Man, but it, it, it's kind of, oh, I need a job or a realtor. I mean, I'm a man. I mean, I'm a car career. The only people think because I'm a realtor, I've got this stigma with my profession that I must be rich. Seriously, I, I am not. I yeah, I don't. <laughs> People are always asking me for a job, but if the city would do this thing, right, but well, I have an idea. The city acquires all those vacant out-of-state investor homes that are just sitting, doing nothing, ruining our neighborhoods, increasing crime. If the city acquires those homes, right, 
then the people can have jobs, we can fix yeah. them up, the people that live in the homes can pay the city money, voila, we have money, right? right. right. And that's, that, that that's what I do these videos for, to make that, that point. That, that will help the debt, that will give people jobs, and that will clean up the neighborhoods, and housing and crime go hand in hand. Do you guys agree? I agree. If housing's agree. bad, yeah. people will yeah. get mad. That's right, that's right, that's right. I like I said, that. I mean, I mean, I'm in a situation now where... I'm living with my better half. Talk real loud, but I'm going to get you sitting I'm, there in I'm your wheelchair. I'm living with my better half, mm -hmm. but I ain't supposed to be there, but there's a roof over my head. You know, I'm a disabled vet. Well, you might not need to tell the world that. Just don't tell us who your better half is. Well, no, that's right. Right, that's right, right. right. I'm, I'm a disabled vet. I draw pictures every month, and I can't find a place to sit. The VA won't even tell me. That's bad. Are you trying to find something on Section 8 or something, yeah, something like that? Yeah, I can't that? get that because mm -hmm. I got evicted from one of them. Mm -hmm. Once you get evicted from Section 8, HUD, or DMHA, you done messed all three of them. Right, you are never allow. Right, all three of them. Say, well, right. don't say you're not never allowed back in. You are to a certain point. Right. Now, if I really wanted to get in there, the lady that's in charge of my money, her husband is the one that evicted me from the apartment. <laughs> so now he seen me the last, last two weeks. He said, oh, I see you doing good, you know, you picking up weight and everything, you know. So maybe there's a chance, you know, I might just go back there and talk to him, you know. Look, 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 I need my apartment back, man. I'm willing to do anything or get along with anything you want me to do. So I need my own spot. Right. And I heard it's really hard. I used to work in property management for a couple of years, 2007 and eight doing property management when I knew real estate was going down and I had tons of people calling me every day that wanted Section 8 housing and I had a really hard time helping those people because the owners we had that had a home that might go Section 8, we'd, we'd have the city come out, you know, the Section 8, DMHA and all that right, stuff, come out and inspect it. And they would deny every single one. They'd have thousands of dollars worth to fix and so the owner would say, well, I don't want to do Section 8. Then I, I want to house the people. That's my job. I'm a real estate agent. It's really hard to house the people if they won't let me house the people. Housing. You need housing too. <laughs> okay. Well, we all need we all need housing. Housing what is a big problem. This will be on YouTube, which is like underground television. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is, I'll give you a flyer. Yeah, I'll give you a flyer. It'll be on. It'll. You have to get to it from the internet. Yeah, you can go to the library. If you, if you go to the library, just yeah, type in buysellsdayton.com and it'll be up there. Give me that flyer. I will. I will. Peace out, guys. Thank you. I get that flyer. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Right back. My Jeep's right here. See, park at the back of the line here, and everyone reads that by selldayton.com. Trying to sell this city.